Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and I checked the mail and I got my next issue of Vogue Knitting. Want to look at it with me? I haven't even taken it out of the wrapper yet. So what we have here is, oh, it just comes with the magazine, no extra insert or anything. This is the Spring Summer 2023 issue Design Evolution, Relaxed Modern Knits for All the Times of Your Life. Nice. Easy's Top 5 Tips Behind the Design, A Fiber Journey, 10 Questions for Lerk Bagger. I have no idea how to say that person's name. I'm sorry. Okay, let's dig in. Um, so I got... This subscription, I used to be subscribed to this and years ago, and then I got an email from it and there was a fabulous deal for a multi-year subscription. And I said, sure, why not? So I signed up. When I got it in the past, it was a monthly subscription. Now it is, it comes out either three or four times a year. So it is more limited now. Um, oh, these are some pretty sweaters. I really like this there's a kind of beige tunicky one i really like that that one right there but look at those that kind of yellow t-shirty one is really cool too this i'm not sure about that fluffer there but everything is optional <laughs> but that's cool it's kind of like uh, the one with the fluffer is kind of like a letterman style almost that's really cool Nice. Okay. Uh, that's an ad. There's our editor. Oh! Available now! Knitting the Neighborhood! <laughs> if you watch my Friday segments, I'm, I've got that book and we're working through it in what I call Fridays with Fred. Um, there's our some our latest obsessions moving the needle a warm colorway a warm and cool colorway design oh they're advertising a uh, temperature blanket kit Ooh, okay so we've got a brooch a bracelet some really fun looking scissors um a yarn bowl from furls and the knit pro circular needle set which they are advertising from hobby just fun look at those scissors those are cool there's the knit pro set which is very pretty and then the yarn bowl nice I'm, i'll be honest i don't really use yarn bowls i more just leave the yarn shoved in my project bag and use it that way it's not i don't feel like i'm seated in a formal enough area to require a yarn bowl it's a very windy outside here still so i'm a mess uh, kind of a stitch stampler there. Um, knit the chains you want to be. A life worth living is a life spent a life spent knitting. Just ask Joey Poe of Winter's Weather Knits. That looks cool. She's got some pretty clothes she's wearing there. Um, they're giving you some book recommendations for summer. Knitting the neighborhood. Weaving big on a little loom, knitted wild animal friends. It looks like some amigurumi knits, brioche knit love, traditions revisited, modern Estonian knits. That looks cool. I really like the look of Estonian knits. That would be super cool to get into. Um, and then there's yeah, there's a little description of the books. Five easy tricks by Elizabeth Zimmerman. <laughs> her number one tip is are you new to circular knitting join being careful not to twist is an important direction to follow don't rub it in elizabeth zimmerman and if you watched my um uh one of my weekly roundups i express dismay that I had a twisted cast on and a cowl I was working in the round was twisted. 
and I'm like a third of the way through. So I, it's not changing now, but I was disappointed, but I'm going to keep going. Um, uh, there's other questions here. Okay. Hmm. I'll read that later. The true essence of modern, S simple and timeless, beloved basics. Oh, that is a really cool bottom. I'm going to call it hem, but I think that's the wrong word. How it's almost like the wavy peplum there. That's neat. Now, I mean, she's got the shoulder structure to pull that look off, but that is neat. Oh, I like that. I do. I like number two there. That's a very nice, just kind of classic sweater. Look at that. That's nice. Sleeves look a little long, but that's probably just the style. Mm, let's see here. Artful eyelets, bold and breathable. Those are pretty. And what else do we have here? We've got the 10 questions. We've got some advertisements. More advertisements. Yarn right from the source. Prado de Lana Sheep Farm. Friends of Vogue, Vogue Knitting. So it's just a article about their sheep farm. Fiber Journey. A sheep to sweater saga. Ooh, Peggy Orenstein, Orenstein documents the parallels of life and the physically grueling task of shearing sheep, spinning, and dyeing wool all herself to make what she calls the world's ugliest sweater. I disagree. That is a very cute sweater. And if I made a sweater from sheep to completed item, like did it all myself, I would be freaking proud of that. And I would wear it till it was tatters. Oh my goodness. I mean, just think of the accomplishment. I'm going to read her story later. Not right now. But wow, I mean, I just can't even imagine. Okay, now we have knitting. We have easy season knits designed with comfortable, classic ease and those that fly off the needles. That's what we like. Well, yeah, that would, that one would be <laughs> a little quicker knit. It's half a sweater, but that's cute. That is cute. Um, I'm not sure with my bust what that would look like. I can't wear like, I love Austin and Regency style clothing, but the umpier waist, I can't do it. Doesn't work with my bust size. Um, that's cute. The Santolina, it's another eyelet sweater. That one I would probably want to work a little longer for my taste, but that's very cute. Uh, Santolina, this is Campan Campanula. It's a polo update. That's cute. That sleeve is very cute. It gives it kind of a fairy tale Cinderella vibe. I like I'm not again, that's not I'm not sure that's one I could pull off. Oh that <laughs> um undergarments definitely required for this next one. The Corona vest. I guess we'll call it a shell. Those are some big eyelets. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Clethra hoodie heaven. This is kind of a eyelet, kind of meshy looking knit hooded cardi. That's cool. That is something I would totally be into. And then let's see what else we got. Misty Morning. Oh, this, okay, so that sweater I liked on the front, or on the front pages, is called Vista. And here you get one view of it, and then a closer up view. I like that. Design Evolution, the perfect v-neck. V-neck. Okay, we've got... Is there a name? This is seven and eight. One's called the actor and one is called the artist. So this is the actor, actor, actor. And this is the artist. 
I love a v-neck sweater and that little neck detail there is really fun I like that I would make and wear both of those um an elegant cop top becomes a tour de force we have the author and the muse okay that is cool the muse is very cool again I question whether I would wear it but I think the author is one that I would definitely wear there's that and then here's the muse with the kind of ruffle on the sleeves it's a very cool effect I love the look of it I'm just not sure functionally if it's something I would actually wear a classic tunic makes a bold statement okay so we've got the poet and the dancer that's very cool again I think I would make the kind of classic poet and I think the dancer is a very very cool I'm just not sure there you go it's kind of a classic long sleeve tunic sweater I can't they don't show you the front so I don't know if it's a crew neck or like a if it's like a circle neck or something or what's going on with the neck there but this one definitely has more of a scoop neck that's the word I was looking for but look at it's like split and it's got like panels almost like a medieval what do you wear under armor I don't know it reminds me of like a medieval thing you'd shove under your armor and ride a horse in <laughs> it's cute I love it um they used a boucle yarn there and so that's how you're getting the little tufties here we go we've got the gelato which is a v-neck high low sweater so it's got a higher hem and then a longer one in the back and it's a pretty deep v there and then we've got spumami which is a short sleeve cropped we call it a shrug and then sorbet which is a a shell I think a little shell so here's I've forgotten the name of it spumani the little shrug and sorbet the little shell those are both super cute I would I think I would make and wear all three of those Ooh, this is cute citrus ice that's cute see the details in that that's cute and then we have oh, that's interesting popsicle it's an asymmetric treat it's a one shoulder ribbed camisole top made in body conforming k2p2 rib that's cool nice not the thing on that one definitely a bit outside of my comfort zone okay this one is called fun for all seasons and it's the uh they're calling it fringe benefits it's the it's the floofy and i mean surely i think it's cute i'm just not feeling the the frayed edges there on the sleeves <laughs> sorry vogue knitting but i'm sure everything is optional when you end up making it yourself okay and that's it because we've come to the patterns see if there's anything else hiding at the end okay there's one back page article okay it is a bit more instruction on how to do that ruffle sleeve and then there's kind of a advertisement for different vogue knitting books oh that's fun let me know what do you think about this issue are there projects in there you would make or are you kind of uh no thank you on the fringe like me <laughs> let me know this is fun i am excited to be getting this again and you know eventually making some things yeah, finding the time to make the things that's always the issue isn't it okay well thank you thank you so much for joining me for my flip through and again let me know what your thoughts are on that and if it's anything you would make of course I know not all of us knit so I guess I'm more speaking of if you had the ability to do the craft would you make it or what are your thoughts okay I'll talk to you later bye bye